Mann from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. She states she became engaged in politics when Governor Schwarzenegger signed SB 777 into law. When Governor Schwarzenegger signed SB 777 into law a law she knew would severely undermine and harm the health and innocent well-being of children and young teens. She knew that then her government had become an enemy of the people. Um, an enemy of the people. She is passionate about the water issue. I forgot to ask, Central Valley, did you make it? Thank you. Thank you. Five hours some folks drove, so thank you. She is passionate about the water issue that is plaguing our state. She believes taking the taking of our water by the government epitomizes all that has gone wrong. Turn the water on. She has gone before her local water district numerous hardest with the water issue. Um, how many know, how many of you guys know that the green movement is a communist movement? Yeah. And how many of you guys have green buildings in your offices where you work? And the schools have all this save the planet stuff. It is a communist movement. They take our water away from us. They constrict us. We can't prosper. We can't do what we want to do. So um, what they've done is, you know, we're only getting 10% of our normal water from the Central Valley Project. Hello? And we're only getting 40% of the normal from the State Water Project. All because of a Delta smelt fish, right? Everybody know that? They claim that it's threatened. Well, it's been threatened for 35 years. They've just been delaying and delaying and confusing the issue, and it's not confusing. Let the water flow and fix whatever problems there are in the Delta. You know, they recently have five new bills or six new bills that the legislature is going through in California. Nothing is going to get done. Nothing. Only thing that they're going to vote on is more bureaucracy. So you've got to write your congressman. You've got to tell your neighbors. And that's the only way we're going to be able to change that. While the liberals and the Democrats are in office, they're killing any bills or anything in committee that can get those water, the water turned on. So it's really important, you guys, that you find out who is in favor of, who is not in favor of any more radical environmentalism and make sure you vote for them. Steve Poisner, I don't know if you guys know, Steve Poisner is running as governor of California. He is currently our California commission, insurance commissioner. He enlarged his fraud department so he could catch the people who are increasing our insurance rates. He's got a lot of great experience, you guys, so I want you to find out more about him. And he immediately went on and uh, put a petition online so to, to get the water turned on, urging Governor Schwarzenegger to take action. Thank you very much. Next, we got some grassroots candidates that you guys should be aware of. They might be in your district. Come on up, guys. Hello everyone, my name is John Stamrick and uh, if I have my way, Jenny Ortiz is going to be looking for employment next year. Some of you may not know me unless uh, you're here in the city of Los Angeles, but I'll guarantee you Mayor Villaraigosa knows who I am because thanks to my uh, a group of friends of ours, Republicans, Democrats, almost got together and uh, we defeated Measure B, the uh, solar energy boondoggle and uh, that really fired me up to uh, do a little bit more. So we started talking with the South Bay Tea Parties out here. And uh, this is the sign I carried. And thanks to you, I was able to change that word can to did. Because you all did it. On May 19th, we sent a message to Sacramento and said, you know what? You have enough money already. We are taxed enough already. It is time to start spending our money better. It's time for us to start getting our money's worth. Now, what do you think their response is? Do you think Sacramento's spending your money better now? No. 
want to tell you what my opponent said on June 30th. She gave a speech that's on my website, by the way, stamrightforsenate.org, and um, it's called Liberal Angst, so you can look it up on YouTube. She called May 19th rhetoric. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be the rhetoric candidate, because that's the rhetoric we need in Sacramento. We need them to say, you know what? You don't get another dime until you start spending our money better. They keep complaining about the education budget, for example. Do you know that only 45 cents of every dollar goes to the teachers in the classroom? Where's the rest going? Well, there's this big Taj Mahal downtown that LAUSD has. That's a good portion of it. I'm going to go fight that. It's time for you to start getting your money spent better. And if you believe that, please come out. Please help your state candidates out because we're going to go up to Sacramento. We're going to hold Democrats, Republicans, Independents, all these people who thought that May 19th was rhetoric. We got the September 12th campaign here. Well, in Sacramento and the state, we're going to have the May 20th campaign. It's time for them to realize that, yes, we did, and we're going to make that effect next November. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you all continue to keep coming to these. How are you guys doing today? Hello, Los Angeles! <laughs> Folks, my name is Sean Black, and I'm running for 70th State Assembly in Orange County. How many veterans do we have here today? Thank you. Thank you for your service. Folks, I am honored to be here in the presence of so many mobsters, unpatriotic Americans, right-wing extremists, and domestic terrorists. I'm in good company. Folks, the president's allies in Washington, Democrats like Reid, Pelosi, they like to mention you on glowing terms like Nazi, angry mob. But folks, I prefer to call you my brother, my sister, fellow patriot. <laughs> folks, on May the 19th, you sent a shot and scored a direct hit in Sacramento and brought down five out of the six ballot propositions to raise your taxes. You did it. And folks, I'm running as the first Tea Party State Assembly candidate. And the biggest way that you can help is go down to my website, seanblack.com, sign up. If every one of you here goes home tonight and donates just $50, I can go to Sacramento. So folks, we, the people, effect the change. Thank you. God bless you. And five out of the six ballot propositions to raise your taxes. You did it. And folks, I'm running as the first Tea Party State Assembly candidate. And the biggest way that you can help is go down to my website, seanblack.com, sign up. If every one of you here goes home tonight and donates just $50, I can go to Sacramento. So folks, we the people effect the change. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.